energy drinks, very popular, of course, with sales raking in billions of dollars each year. But how healthy are those drinks for you? A recent study found they could affect your heart and blood pressure. So we wanted to know, are they dangerous? Chief Health Editor Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now with these answers. Melinda, it turns out, and also Dave, our viewers have the same questions. Earlier today, I asked on Facebook on WXYZ if anyone had experienced any side effects from these energy drinks, and the responses just poured in. So Christina Nader from South Lyon responded and said, I get really sick when I drink them. Even just one does it. Heart palpitations, chest pain, nausea, dizziness, weakness. It's terrifying, she says. Now, Christina's side effects are not uncommon, but everyone will react differently because there are hundreds of energy drinks and the ingredients really are variable. Now, the makers of these drinks say that they're there to help you perform better, but they may actually do more damage than you think. A recent study compared energy drink to coffee. Now, both beverages can have the same amount of caffeine, but only the energy drink caused high blood pressure and heartbeat abnormalities. Why, you ask? Because many of these energy drinks also contain a lot of other stimulants, like guarana, taurine, L-carnitine. These are typically not harmful when used alone, but together they can negatively affect your nervous system and may cause some health issues. So really have to watch out for that. All right, as you mentioned, Doc, a lot of responses to this topic. So here's uh, another post. Uh, Nashu Thea from uh, Highland posted, I used to drink Monster, now just a Red Bull, once in a while. I get jitteries, uh, jitters and energy crash. So Dr. Nandy, energy drinks are supposed to perk you up, so why would they cause crashes? That's a great question, uh, Dave. And we are all familiar with sugar crashes, and many, many energy drinks are sugar enriched. Guess what? They can contain extremely high amounts of uh, sugar, as much as 27 teaspoons in one can. Mm. That's amazing. What's concerning is that these crashes may drive you to do uh, reach for another energy drink, and that could put you over the safety limits the FDA recommends, which is 400 milligrams of caffeine per day. If you're reaching for those drinks to give you more energy, I ask you to do something revolutionary and look at your lifestyle. Get some sleep, please, and get some exercise. That could really be, uh, be, be really uh, you know, something revolutionary. Great ways to safely boost your energy levels. And Dr. Nandy, what do you have to say to people who mix these drinks with alcohol? Yeah, an absolutely a, a deadly combination. You could really crash and then the alcohol takes over and then you could really be in for a, a, a really bad outcome. People can die from it. And that's a lot of college kids do that as well as young adults. So I, I would really caution you against that. All right, Dr. Nandy, thanks so much. If you have a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy.wxyz.com. Send it to us, Facebook, Twitter. We'll get it right to him.